friends to our Thanksgiving play. Harvest festivals date back to ancient times. The pilgrims and the Wampanoag celebrated the harvest together in 1621. Today, our traditional Thanksgiving is based on this historical celebration, autumn 1620. It was September 1620 when the pilgrims said goodbye to their friends and families and left England. They sailed on a ship called the Mayflower to find a new home across the ocean. It was a difficult journey that lasted 66 days. We hope to find a home. We'll be free to worship God in a way that is our own. On the land across the ocean lived the Wampanoag people and their friend Squanto. They were, they were farmers, gatherers, and hunters. They watched quietly as the pilgrims came to their shores. The people of the dawn. We thank the great creator for the gift of corn. Winter 1620. I am John Carter, the governor of this new colony of pilgrims. We are thankful for the forest that gives us wood for houses and a warm fire. But it is winter now, and our people are sick and starving. We pray for help. Squanto became a Christian with the help of the kind friars in Spain. After a while, he made his way to England. Here, Squanto was hired as a scout and guide for a New World expedition. Four years had passed since Squanto had been kidnapped. After reaching America, Squanto is eager to return to his village, his family, and his friends. Spring 1621. I am Squanto. Long ago, I was captured and sold as a slave. I was taken to England, where I learned the language. When I returned home, my people had all died from sickness, but the Wampanoag welcomed me. Many pilgrims and their governor died last winter. Those who lived through the bitter cold need my help. I will show them how to live in this land. It is a blustery March day, 1621. Two years have passed. The pilgrims who landed four months ago in the dead of winter have already lost nearly half their number to disease. Forty-four new graves have been dug in the cold New England ground. Despite their hardships, the pilgrims have begun to construct buildings and establish a colony. I am Massasoit, leader of the Wampanoag. I will make peace with the strangers. We will promise to help one another. We have a friendship treaty that tells we'll help one another. The one for the little pilgrims promised to leave you as brothers. Squanto stayed with the pilgrims and taught them which wild plants, berries, and nuts were good to eat. He taught them how to fish. When spring came, he showed them how to plant corn and make it grow. The ancient corn Squanto and the pilgrims planted that spring prospered and grew tall. After the harvest, the pilgrims invited their Indian friends to join them for a celebration of Thanksgiving. Autumn 1621. I am Mistress Bradford, the new governor's wife. It is now autumn and the harvest is good. Governor Bradford has ordered a Thanksgiving feast. I am Priscilla Mullins. We have prepared a Thanksgiving feast to feed ourselves in Idy Wampanoag. The Wampanoag brought us deer meat. We have cooked pigeon, duck, turkey, and fish. We'll have cornmeal cake, pumpkin squash, cabbage, and berries. The Thanksgiving feast lasted three days. It had been a hard year for the pilgrims, but their new friends had helped them survive. Together, they celebrated peace and abundance.